Yo, what you doing, bro? I know you ain't click on this video, not subscribe to me, and you not gonna hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button for your boy, and if you already hit it, just stay tuned for the video. But everybody who didn't subscribe, be sure to do that right now. And also, if y'all need that lockdown defense, I got y'all. Everything y'all see here, everything y'all see in my gameplay, my whole Buffalo Bills defense to dominate, winning games, getting picks, getting sacked, fumbles, whatever you need, stopping aggressive catching, stopping power stretches, I got y'all. Link is in the description. Without further ado, let me get y'all into this gameplay blitz reaction video. Whatever y'all watching, let's get it. What's good, YouTube? I told y'all I always got y'all. Uh, I'm bringing y'all some heat out the nickel normal today. And be sure to subscribe, like, do whatever you do. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Uh, but y'all can see right now, he's blocking, what, seven people? They're just coming straight off the edge. Uh, pfft, I think we're only sending five people. But this is a more aggressive blitz. And I'm going to show you how to run this blitz. Like I said, it is out the nickel normal. Uh, so I'm in a Jacksonville Jaguars playbook right now. But this this right here, nickel normal. A lot of playbooks got this. Uh, I don't really got anybody. I got Phillip Games. I don't really got nobody fast. Ooh, let me, let me set up the fast people in. But it's called the under smoke too. And a lot of people like this formation because it also has the buck slant show too. But I like this under smoke too. I think it's a lot better, a lot faster. And with the buck slant, a lot of people like to hit the flats. And when you press, you can get motion hiked and bombs. So I like this setup a lot better. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, I mean, I, that's just on me. Uh, y'all do what y'all want. But right here, all you want to do is base a line, press, pinch a D line, crash a D line to the left, and then shift your linebacker to the left. That's all you want to do. Shift your linebacker to the left if he goes over. All right. All right, Tom Holly, you straight? Oh, all right. Now you want to go? Okay. He usually comes over here like that. Well, uh, then all you want to do, you're like, j you're the only person in the field, bro. This book's going to get eaten up. Da -da -da. Make adjustments. I normally I wouldn't leave like this. I'll probably do something like that. I meant, So then if I man the RB guy up, I'm like, okay, the only person I need to watch really is the uh, tight end on the crossing route. So I'll probably use her here. Then if the dude runs a slant, I go there. The thing I like about the soft squat is that if they run a slant, anything, it always carries whatever route is in a zone. It always carries a route until somebody comes in a flat. So that's why y'all like, oh, he can just throw a slant to the left. Well, no, nah, y'all going to see why. Y'all going to see when we hike the ball. Uh, phew, oh, my God. Two people coming in free. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My God. Oh God. Oh man. Y'all see blocking seven people. We getting two people in free. Y'all see what I was talking about? The soft squat, there's no one in the flat, so he's just gonna help carry this slant. I man this slant up. Well, you wanna sub a linebacker in there. I wouldn't. That's Don Terry Poe. But uh you wanna sub a linebacker in there, so then you don't have to worry about that. You can just worry about this guy really that's all you really gotta worry about at that point like but y'all see how the soft squat is he look he follow him all across the field he follow him all the way across the field but that's why i like the soft squats these soft squat blitzes because they're just so op uh so like i said all you want to do is base a line press uh pinch your d line crash them to the right shift your linebackers to the left i mean crash the d line to the left i'm always getting mixed up my bad y'all you can put this guy in a hook all you gotta do is watch right here. Uh, make sure you got somebody fast here and here. Like uh, I got D forward there, and that's why I'm getting too free. Or like he just coming free off the edge. Like and he's blocking seven people. So again, base the line, press, pinch your D line, shift your linebackers to the right, and crash them to the right. Shift your linebackers to the left and crash your D line to the left. I'm so sorry, y'all. Like uh, y'all can see, you don't gotta, you don't have to hover for this blitz. You can do whatever you want, bro. Are you serious? There you go. Dang, childish, bro. I see, this is just a setup for the blitz, and it's similar to the overload three, but like overload three press, but it's like the corner doesn't come with the gap. He comes off the edge, which, which I like. I think this is better than Bucks. Like, look at that. I, I take that, but I don't got to say no more, but do whatever y'all want with this blitz. Uh, Oh, my God. This blitz is nasty. This blitz is nasty. This blitz is nasty. This blitz is nasty. But like I said, I just try to give y'all the best heat possible. Oh, my goodness. And y'all see it's coming in with seven people blocked. Need I say no more. But until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.